Tony D and Little Jones somewhere in the house, and this is your screenwriter's rant on the G, starring Dale Dickey as a woman who was cheated by her guardian, and uh, now she's out for revenge. Smash a like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 16, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Now, Dale, you'll recognize from many movies, when they need someone to play a tough, tough old broad, <laughs> they call Dale. And she's just got a great look about her. Uh, perfect character actress for that particular role. If you need the older biker chick or the, um, the older lady who lives in uh in the ozark somewhere something like that uh dale is like perfect but she actually stars in this film uh in a film by carl a. r hearn who wrote and directed it and the premise is uh she's appointed a guardian i guess she gets sick or something and basically the guardian steals everything from her steals her house steals steals it all and she also has a granddaughter. And uh, now she's mad because they stole everything from her and she has nothing to leave her granddaughter. And uh, now she's out for revenge. And as it turns out, she's not an average pushover. She's not just some random old lady. She's bit gangster. And so that's why it's called the G, right? Because OG, original gangster, and also G stands for grandma. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of like this, uh, mainly because of Dale's intensity. So she actually can sell you on the f the the idea that she she'll kill you. <laughs> I mean, she just has a great look about that. She has a, a good intensity. So a lot of women they put in roles like this, and you just go, okay. Right, sure. Jennifer Lawrence, get, or not Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Lopez gets her revenge, right? Yeah, I don't really buy it. Uh, but Dale? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see Dale killing a bunch of people. Um, it's just good casting. It's just good casting. And she's a good actress. So uh, it looks like she can carry this movie. And uh, one of the lines in the movie is, uh, you know, I'm not a nice person. <laughs> and it really comes across, you know, like, again, if, uh, I don't know, Ariana Grande said that in a movie, you'd be like, okay. Uh, but when someone like Dales delivers that line with an intensity, you're like, ooh, somebody's going to get their head blown off. So first act, I guess she gets sick, but for some reason the state appoints a guardian for her for some reason. Maybe she's in a car accident. Maybe she gets sick. And during that time, the Guardian completely rips her off. And um, her and her granddaughter try to figure out how to save her house and get her money back. And there just seems to be no hope, right? And then it turns out it's this corrupt system of guardianship. Uh, people, you know, who target vulnerable old people and sick. And they take over as guardians and they just rob them blind. So she basically becomes an avenger for these people. And to get her own revenge, right? So there's some other guy. He's sick. She tries to help him out. And then the Guardians come in. And now the, now we got a problem, right? Um, so this will be in the second act, right? And she's going after the corrupt system. Uh, and I don't think she's a cop or anything. Um, so I think she's just going to kill him. Or maybe not kill him, but... Uh, Somehow get her money back, somehow intimidate them, or, or rob them, or whatever. Basically turning the tables on these people. But, as the uh, trailer will tell you, these are not nice people, so they're pushing back because they're gangsters too. And then, I imagine in the third act, she's forced to kill uh, at least one or two people uh, to save her granddaughter and herself. So, uh, I kind of like this, because it's... it's um, it's a low-stakes sort of crime drama, and uh, I think Dale can deliver, and it looks uh, pretty intense, so I would absolutely watch this. I don't think it's going in the theaters, 
Uh, I had trouble finding it on the IMDb. Um, so I'm not even sure it has distribution yet. So I would look look for it in uh, streaming, most likely. And uh, it, everything always eventually ends up on Amazon. But I would totally watch this. Oh, 100%. 100%. Uh, yeah, it's called The G. And hopefully it'll be out mm, soon. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Uh, check us out on the green site, the orange site, and the black site for more videos. Oh, by the way, this was produced, according to uh, at least one source, in 2023. So it may already be out somewhere. It may already be on streaming. Um, and here's the write-up. A mysterious older woman seeks revenge on the corrupt legal guardian who destroyed her life, coming to North America theater soon. So maybe it released in, like, Canada already and uh so yeah look for that all right that's it for me we'll see you in the next one